Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be unboxing this Frozen Mini 8KS. See you guys inside. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be taking a look, a look at the Frozen Sonic Mini 8KS. This new little printer just released from Frozen. I love the Frozen brand. They're a great brand. The printers are usually top-notch quality and they work really, really well. Um, this is actually Frozen printer number five to be going into my shop. Now, one thing you guys might be asking is, Mike, we've seen the other videos. You've got the big Makias. You've got the big Mighty. What do you need a Mini for? Well, the Mini is going to be doing a specific job in my shop. Specifically, this printer is going to be used for printing clear. So basically by doing that, this printer is only going to touch the frozen clear resin or whatever brand I choose to do clear parts. So that's why the mini is kind of important to me is a lot of times I get a little things like canopies or something like that to go in models that need to be clear. So I, my plan for this guy is to use it purely for doing clear prints, which yes, I have enough to justify a machine, but also this is a brand new printer. It will only know clear resin, which means I don't have to really clean my resin bay and all of that to make sure I don't get contamination to get cloudy prints. So that is what this guy is going to do. But basically what the Mini 8KS is, is a newer, cheaper version of the original Mini 8K. Now, a lot of what's going on right now is 12K is on the release. And that's true. 12K is on its way out. And we will be having that. The M5 is on order. I've got the Mighty 8K upgrade kits for the Frozen Machines on order to upgrade those to 12K. Really kind of hoping they do uh, Mega 12K, but we'll see about that. But basically today, we're going to get this guy out of the box. We're going to get it set up, and then I probably will try my first clear resin print. Hmm, sounds like a lot of fun. And I've got actually a project that somebody has asked me to do to do just those parts. So hopefully we will get to that. But right now, the main goal today is just an unboxing video. That's part one. We're going to get this guy out of the box. We're going to take a look at the detail and we're going to go from there. So before we do that though, one last thing, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're doing all kinds of stuff. We've got four printers on the way that I know of right now. We'll have the Bamboo Labs, X1 Carbon coming. We've got, uh, it's the Galaxy One 17 inch resin printer coming. We got the M5 coming. I think most of that's gonna land this month. So we're gonna be busy with new machines a lot. But also we got the Mandalorian project and several other things going on. So definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not. Also consider becoming a member. Your guys' joining that membership allows me to spend money on upgrades, new microphones, new tools, and also just help out the channel and acquire this kind of stuff. So definitely consider becoming a member and as always, give the video a like. And the final thing before we get to get this guy out of the box, if you can and have any comments or requests or need information, hit me down in the comments down below. Your guys' comments help spark new things for the channel. So definitely keep that in mind. But let's hop over. Let's get this printer out of the box. All right, guys. So one thing I do love about Frozen is they pack everything really, really well. And they have their security sale and everything, and they have a specific email address if something is damaged to email them. But everything arrived intact, so we are going to get this guy out of the box and get started. I'm excited about this little printer. Uh, it's been a while since I've used a small printer. Um, I'm used to everything about 9 or 10 inches up. Um, so this is going to be a little bit of a change for me too. Now, if you guys want to see me set this up profile wise and shinty box and stuff like that, definitely leave me a note down in the comments for that as well. Because, well, if you guys don't tell me, I don't know what you need. Um, and I will tell you right now, I do use shinty box. I don't use lychee. Um, I know there's cool features that shinty box has and lychee doesn't have, but I do use the pro license um, of shinty box. And it works really well for me. Um, with my printers, the frozen profiles and stuff are fantastic in there, especially if you're just starting out and you're using frozen resin and stuff, it works really, really well and does a really, really good job. So again, like I said, fantastic packaging. 
easy to get out of the box and ready to go. Unfortunately, nothing for me to throw like usual. So, and you guys will definitely get more close-ups later on as we go, but definitely a good looking machine. Nice, small, lightweight. Um, I'm not having any trouble moving it around or anything. We'll get this tape undone here. We'll get this bag opened up. And we'll get a good look at this new machine. First layer, done. Second layer, saran wrap. <laughs> and I just don't have patience for it, so pull up, cut the tight. There we go. We'll throw that in the bag too. All right. We can pull the lid off. Get rid of the foam. The parts box is firmly one, it's doing two things. It's firmly holding the bill plate in place, but it's also just firmly holding everything in place. And what you can do, just undo the bolt for the bill plate, slide the bill plate out. There you go. Box is released. More foam released. Now we're down to the meat and potatoes of the machine. So definitely a good looking little machine there. Um, I just thought about it. I need to order a screen protector for it. I may have something upstairs um, from prior little printers I used, but definitely need to order a screen protector. And here's what I mean by bat size. So there's the bat. Now this is probably, what, a six inch build plate, I think. So definitely a size difference. And actually when you even get down further and look at the size of the actual LCD, it's very narrow, very thin. Um, should work perfectly for what I'm doing um, with just doing clear, clear build parts for this, for this machine. So we'll screw that back in place, kind of looking at the machine, touchscreen LCD. Uh, where's my USB port? Oh, USB port is weirdly kind of placed back here on the right side, but it's near the power cord too. That's kind of weird though. I don't like this. I really prefer the USBs up front, um, which the Megas do, the Mighties do that. Um, kind of just odd placement to see it in the back back here, but that's all right. And the oh so satisfying removal of protector film. And you guys will notice the color difference here. A lot of the frozen machines uh, are usually a... Um, orange cover, where this is a new yellowish green UV cover. Ah, so rewarding, so staticky. You can see it playing, <laughs> it's playing with my hair. So the unfortunate bit, touch my table here, get rid of the static. All right, so we've got all the goodies. Now let's take a look at what they sent us. Always something good in the goodie box. So aftermarket USB drive with everything we need. Um, download and get your first model on their on their service called PixUp. Um, link will be down in the description down below. Um, but you can get your free model from over there. It's a service that they've helped build. Um, interesting models, good partnerships and stuff over there as well. So I'll set those to the side. Got our Allen wrenches, which are the good ones, because they've got the uh, beveled heads. I like those. We got some sandpaper, and some, I think these are frozen stickers. Yep, some frozen stickers. Always good to have to stick us. We've got putty knife for cleaning out the resin bat. We've got a funnel for pouring back resin when we're not using it. Of course, your nitrate gloves. The power cord, which is a little different than their standard, but not unwelcome to see it all in one piece. Then my favorite thing that they get, they actually do something that's quality. That's their putty knives. They send a really nice putty knife that is really strong, really rigid, 
and I really like these and I kind of hoard these a little bit because uh, they work really, really well. So next step's going to be, now that we got it all out of the box, we've got kind of a good look at it. I got a little bit more um, under the resin vat and kind of pull all the films off and get into the machine here. But next step is we'll come back, we'll get this powered up, and we'll take our first look at it. All right, guys, let's go through the initial steps of powering it on. So we'll hit the power button back here, and we'll see that little, their normal loud beep. Then we'll see the LCD come to life. I'm gonna go ahead and bust out the uh, thumb drive as well. Now, I did mention one of the things about this printer is I intend to do this, use this printer for clear printing. And for that, I'm going to use the Aqua Clear Resin by Frozen. That way, um, it'll work really well. Now, I've kind of made the decision, I'm not gonna print in this video. So this is part one. This is unboxing, taking our first look at it, and getting her all configured. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the resin bay. And actually, they already took the liberty of putting a screen protector on there. So I don't have to worry about that. So the next thing we need to do is level the printer. So, we're gonna take our handy dandy screwdrivers they gave, they gave us, get the right one here. I'm gonna, I'm going to first unbolt these. This is not, a self-leveling printer or anything of that type. So you loosen these four bolts. You saw how it became really loose. Take a sheet of paper, throw it over the LCD there. And what we'll do, we'll go down here, get tools, and we will go to Z calibration next. And it's gonna bring down our Z and we're gonna level it. So pretty simple little steps here. And listening to the machine, very quiet. I like that. Um, right now we're kind of, it's going for a bore and there's a little bit of a hum. Resin machines should never really be loud. They should be pretty quiet. They do have fans, so if it's in a hot air or something, you may hear those fans kick off, but all in all, when a resin printer is printing, they shouldn't be very loud. So kind of keep that in mind as you look at all this, that the resin machine should not be loud. If you've got a loud one, it could be a bad fan, could be a broken bracket, um, different things like that, and of course, you know, it's not that hard to get in here and take a look at what's going on, but be very careful. So we are now at the bottom, and as it is stating right here, we're to tighten the four screws. So I'm going to put my hand on there just for a little extra oomph. We're going to tighten these screws up. And that should give us a good level. It's always good to level when you're first starting out. Um, gives your machines a good starting point. Now, granted, your first level, could you be off? Yep, I've had that happen. So you may wind up leveling one or two times before you get a good print. So just kind of keep that in mind. Make sure that knob was good and tight when you did this. We're good to go. We hit the done button and up she goes, take the paper away. And once it raises up high enough, we're ready to put the resin vat in and we're ready to get started with this machine. So looking at her build and her construction, nice little machine, little printer. The LCD is so narrow and I'll give you guys some more beauty shots here at the end of the video, really kind of looking at the machine's build. But all in all, I mean, we're not building big prints. We're building little things with this. Um, I'm working on a Nautilus print. I need clear domes for around the ship. That's what, and, um, and a lot of times I work on like aircraft model kits or different things like that, that I just need clear replacement parts. Or, you know, if I'm working on a Starship, I can print the part clear and then use transparent paints to allow me to have good clear zones. So very nice, clean LCD. I like the look of it. No data found. It's because I don't have a thumb drive built plugged in. I don't, 
This bothers me, the thumb drive being so far at the back and the side like this, doesn't let me put printers really close to each other. So probably what I'll do is get a USB extension cable and have it sitting up here and just come out the side and tuck underneath. But then you've got R2, you've got a the frozen rook and uh, the XP finder test to work with. So we'll kind of hit those. So part one, looking at the printer, beautiful machine, beautiful construction, lots of differences. I have a unique use that I'm gonna do with this, which these test prints probably are not set to. So I can't use those, so I will have to reslice the file. If you guys wanna see that reslicing and first clear prints, subscribe, like, and let, put down in the comments down below, let's see that clear. And uh, we'll get on to that and we'll start learning how to do clear resin printing together. Sounds like fun to me, right? So thank you guys for stopping by. Some beauty shots are gonna come up with the printer here next. And then we will have a true judgment in a few weeks after I actually work with the printer and test it. So hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Very simple, very clean printer. So here goes. Here's hoping for a lot of fun. Thank you guys. Catch you in the next video.